Hello, hello, hello. I would say what a beautiful morning to you, but for a lot of you, it's not morning, is it? But it is a wonderful, beautiful morning here. And I thought, why not do my video, my summer video outside on the deck where it's nice and beautiful weather beautiful scenery i'm telling you these hummingbird feeders have been so active this is the best year that i've had with hummingbirds i don't know if it was the way i mixed my water my sugar water this time if they just like it better or if more came this year than last year but so far it's looking like i've got some pretty active feeders i have three up on the deck there but i only have two in frame but those have been the two most active feeders so hopefully you will get to see some beautiful hummingbirds and enjoy some nature being outside there you go look at that baby well i don't know if that's a baby but he's my baby they like going to the back side where it's hard to see them but you can see them coming and going but anyway i've heard that while i was awake having trouble sleeping just thinking about all of the stuff on YouTube and how little there is on YouTube about summer these days how much it's become about other things and what can I do to shift the attention and the focus back on summer I've been trying to do that and um so far, I really, I don't think I've made much of a difference, but I have provided a platform here where I do keep Summer's name circulating. I talk about Summer every day on my channel. Now, sometimes I miss a day. I'm human. Sometimes real life, my, li my real life gets in the way, or I my life you know life happens and sometimes we can't do it every single day but i've been very loyal and i've done vid summer videos for several months on a daily basis and it's been hard it's been really hard um this case has been so confusing I know that in my earlier videos, I went through several scenarios and theories all in one video. I mean, because there was just so many things on my mind, and I always wanted to tell y'all what was, what I was really thinking. And I started out with a whole lot of theories and a whole lot of possibilities, a whole lot of speculation, a whole lot of what ifs and this could have happened and that could have happened and what about this and that and up and down rabbit holes chasing leads that went nowhere. And I learned a little bit along the way that Really, you just have to sit back and stay focused and watch, pay attention to what creators you're following and make sure you're following good people that give good, credible information. And to keep it about summer on this channel that's what i do i keep it about summer the best i can and i know i do live streams every friday and we we loosen up a little bit on fridays and get ready for the weekend we unwind together we, we relax and 
unwind together, get it all out, get it all off our chest, whatever emotions have been heightened over content over the week. We just discuss things and get it out of the way before the weekend so we can enjoy the weekend. And I enjoyed yesterday's live stream very much with a lot of really good people that are so loyal to my channel. I can't say to you how grateful I really am for each and every one of you. My channel is growing because of you and I appreciate you for that. I appreciate you being here and bringing so many smiles to me and to my chat and just being part of the family and I really mean that when I say that my YouTube friends are all part of a little family we've got here and I do consider all of you my little YouTube family and I, I want to keep all of you and I enjoy interacting with all of you I really enjoy hearing where you're from and I especially love it when I hear that people are watching from other countries. I mean, me, really, my small channel, this little country girl is, has the attention of people in other countries listening to me and my thoughts about Summer and her case. And that, that means a lot to me. That means so much. Just that I have people here listening. To me, it's not about the numbers. It's, I don't care about the notifications anymore. If people want to turn those off, that's fine. I still have people that are uh, tuned in and they want to receive notifications from me and they accept them very happily and they do watch my videos continuously and for those people i will continue to do videos just for the few people who do follow my videos and look forward to my videos and i just love it when people tell me they miss me <laughs> if I haven't been on in a little bit and people start to miss me I love that I really do and I'm just loving this whole channel I'm, I'm really having a good time with the people I believe that we all cross paths for a reason and I've heard a lot of people say that they have the best chat and I've always said, no, they don't. I have the best chat. But really what it is, I believe, is the right people are sent to your channel for you. The people who are right for you. The people who are right for your channel. The people... There's another hummingbird on that feeder. I wish they would quit going to the back. I want them to start using this side so y'all can see them better. I might have to block off that one on the back. <laughs> then you'll have to come around here. But Summer would really enjoy a day like today. A beautiful day with the sun. Just, it's, it's still early. It's before 10 o'clock in the morning here, and the sun is already so nice and warm, and it's just perfect weather. It's perfect. I'm, I'm planning on getting a lot of things done today, and uh, by that, I mean yard work and some more spring cleaning. My mom might be coming down soon to visit for Mother's Day. I hope she does. It's not looking like 
it may not be on Mother's Day, but she'll be coming down soon to where we can celebrate it together. And if not, then I'll go to her. If she can't come here, I'll go to her and spend at least one night up there and take her out to dinner and give her a present. And uh, Mother's Day is going to be um, a hard one for me, as everybody that follows me knows that my daughter took her own life on Mother's Day five years ago. So I have a milestone coming up five years and I'm shocked that it's been five years. I, I mean, it does not feel like it. I have suffered so many health problems since losing her. Grief will take such a toll on your health and on your body and on your personality. It will take a toll. It will beat you up so bad. And grief has really beaten me up. It has beat me so bad. It's beaten me to a, a bloody pulp. And I mean beat down to the ground. And I'm just coming up and I'm trying to stand on my own two feet and trying to look at all the positive things in life. And I've come a long ways with nature being a big part of my healing. And I think that all of you play a big part in my healing process too. Just being there to being there and listening to me. And just y'all are just such wonderful people. I, I can't explain to you how much you mean to me. I don't live anywhere near any family, and we don't know anybody in this area. Uh, we know one lady that lives up, up higher on the mountain, an elderly lady, but other than that, we don't know anybody around here, and so it gets pretty lonely. So. I over time I've just learned to bond with the with nature and bond with the animals the wildlife and that means the hummingbirds too and I am very excited about the hummingbirds because they only come around for a short time every year and the rest of my wildlife I have them all the time so today I just wanted to focus on the beautiful hummingbirds. And uh, we're not getting very good views of those and I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoy just being outside with me and you can hear birds chirping and you can hear a, a woodpecker pecking on a tree. The sounds of nature is just so comforting. Well, I was trying to be quiet so you could hear that noise. The background noise is just so peaceful. I have, um, I've been trying to turn my little deck, my deck, back deck, into a little, my own little paradise. <laughs> I had to bring my plants out here for, um, uh, real good watering and real good direct sunlight, and they have really done so good since I have brought them out here. I've I got some compliments on how well they were looking inside and but since I've brought them outside I think they 
have done like a U-turn as far as health-wise. These are just so much healthier out here. There's a hummingbird. See, I shouldn't have moved it. Should have known as soon as I moved it. I was trying to show you my little paradise I've, I'm working on. I need some solar lights out here so I can sit out here at night. And I love solar lights. anybody wants to send me something pretty, some kind of pretty little solar light to add to my little paradise out here, you have my address in my about section. I went and got a P.O. box for fan mail, and I haven't received any. <laughs> I haven't received any at all. I don't know if people just don't know where my address is. But it's in my about section, my about tab, my physical mailbox that I use for fan mail has not gotten one single piece of mail. I'm trying to be patient and wait because I know that y'all, some of y'all really love me enough to send me a postcard. I have a friend that is going to be sending me a um, birdhouse, a homemade birdhouse, and I can't wait to show that. Anything that y'all send me, I will make a video and show everybody and say your first name or channel name, whatever you put on the return address. Uh, I'll just use your first name unless you state in a note otherwise that you would you don't mind your whole name being said but I will give a shout out to each and every person who sends any kind of fan mail whether it's a drawing or a, a short little note or a postcard um, anything just anything um, I watched Don B, and I noticed that he got his first piece of pa uh, fan mail not too long ago. It was a postcard, and I was so happy for him, and then I got to thinking, I want fan mail, too. I haven't gotten any, so that's what sparked all of this, and since then, somebody sent him a little bag of sweet tea, because he loves sweet tea. I'm not, a, I'm not big on sweet tea, but I love watching Don B. Um, I hope to get one of his hoodies before they go out of season. I want the one with the butterfly on the front. Uh, summer, the summer hoodie. I know he's gotten some t-shirts in. But I really wanted that hoodie. I hope it's not too late to get that. But maybe one day my channel might get big enough for some merch. We have to come up with a, a name, a saying, or something to put on some merch. I'm sure that's going to be down the line somewhere. I don't know what in the world it would ever be what I would put on any merch other than something about summer and I don't know. Um, that's probably too far down the road to think about right now. But I plan on staying with Summer's Case all the way through. I made a, a personal commitment to her that I would offer up my platform for her and be here and use this platform to raise awareness about her and her case and to follow it until there's justice, until somebody 
is held accountable for whatever happened this summer. We need to know what happened this summer. And it's going to take a big break in this case. It's going to take somebody coming forward. And I don't know what it's going to take to get the right person to come forward. Or the right people. But we need people. We need somebody to come forward with just enough information to put, make a break in this case. Give, just give law enforcement something to work with. If you really care about Summer and then you know information about what happened to her, then I don't understand why you wouldn't want to see justice and see whoever is, a, is responsible to be held accountable. I don't understand who would not want to see whoever is responsible to be held accountable for causing a child to go missing for over 10 months now. To sit back for over 10 months and let all these holidays go by without summer. Her birthday went by, no summer. And then Easter just passed, no summer. It gets so frustrating. It's such a sad case. Every missing child case is such a sad case. But in Summer's case, Summer was never loved. She was never loved in her life. She never got treated with love and respect. And I just feel like this case, somebody needs to finally, for once, just for once, step up and show some love for Summer Wells. Who will that be? Who is it going to be that's going to love Summer enough to step up and stand up for her and tell what they know? Summer needs help. She would help you if you needed help. From what I understand, she has the personality of a nurturer. She would have probably been a nurse or in, worked in the nursing field or something to do with children the way she loved people and cared about people's well-being from what little bit we've learned about Summer, we've learned that. And I can't understand why somebody won't step up and try to help Summer. She was all about helping everybody else and showing love everywhere she went. Look at that pretty hummingbird. That's a female. The other one that was coming around was a male. That one's a female. I can't really get the camera too much closer so that you can see better. I want you to have a better view of them. But if I move the phone too far, you won't be able to hear me. <laughs> I want Summer to be found so bad.
I want to seek justice for Summer. While I was awake last night, as I was trying to say before, I laid there awake in the middle of the night and just lay there thinking about this case. From I probably ran through everything from beginning to end. And then I wake up this morning and find out that her, her mother went to a concert last night while I laid there awake trying to figure out where can this little girl be what in the world could have happened to this little girl wanting so bad to find justice for her wanting to see justice for her And her mom is out at a concert. And that wouldn't be a bad thing 10 months after, but 10 months after, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if she had been a grieving mother all this time. And then she takes herself out for a treat to try to relax or to try to have a good time. But I don't see how any mother with a missing child can be enjoying life with that child being missing publicly, just flaunting all of their business all over YouTube and going on camping trips, fishing trips, vacations, and now concerts. There for a while, she was trying to plan a skydiving trip. I mean, really, this does not look like a mother of a missing child. And that bothers me so bad. She don't even try to fake it. Sometimes she tries to fake it. She'll, she'll read the comments in the chat of a, if she's up on somebody's panel, she'll be reading the chat and then she goes by that to gauge what people want to hear, what people want to see from her. And then once in a while, she'll try to fake it. I've seen her try to push out a couple tears, trying to fake cry on command. And I know she don't have a problem with doing that at any other time. I don't know why it was such a struggle for her to squeeze out a couple of tears. We've all heard the drama, the drama queen in her. The famous Mary call. We won't forget that. And I won't forget about that whatever she had going on on the river i think that was fake too she uh, she's out at a concert ain't nothing wrong with her same old stuff i mean there's a lot wrong with her but there she's not sick like she tried to act like in that audio I hate to even talk about her on my platform because she steals the spotlight from Summer all the time. But she is showing more and more every day that she has moved on with her life. And it really does sadden me that she has been able to move on with her life since day one. And all of us are still holding on to any little strand of hope that we can find. We'll latch on to any strand of hope. And we lay awake at night and think about this little girl and wonder what else can we do. Always trying to think of something else that we can do to help Summer. And her mother, 
all she cares about is going to concerts and just living her best life. And I mean that. She is literally out there living her best life. But don't think that it's going to last, y'all. It can't. Good always prevails over bad. And people who need to be held accountable, they're going to be held accountable. I don't have to go up and down rabbit holes anymore. I don't have to come up with theories anymore. I don't have to speculate anymore. I can see. I can see. That Candace knows. Candace is way more involved than she lets on. She knows exactly. She knows that Summer's not coming back, but she won't tell us why. She's accepted it. She has said that she has to put Summer to the side. She has made a statement that Summer will always be with her. Those are not the words that come out of a mother that has a missing child's mouth. You don't put a missing child to the side for any reason. And you don't say that Summer will always be with me as if she's dead and gone, but she'll always be in your heart or your necklace, Candace. It's just so sad what Candace has turned Summer's case into. She's turned it into so much drama because that's what she is. She feeds off of drama. She's always been that way. And Dawn is the same way. Dawn is just as much a drama queen as Candace is. They both love to dramatize everything. And they've learned behaviors from each other. They have picked up each other's bad habits, and that's bad. Because they both, before they even met, they both already had really bad habits, y'all. Y'all know this. This to be, y'all know this is true. They both had problems, big problems. And criminal, criminal records and all. And they have learned off of each other. And they have learned behaviors from each other. And they have become just alike. Over 14 years of them being together, they have become just alike. Don and Candace are just alike. And no matter who Candace goes to concerts with, no matter who Candace falls in love with out here while Don's locked up, and his time is waning away in there. He's pulling his time. It won't be no time and Don's gonna be out. On that charge anyway. So Candace thinks, oh, he's gone forever. Six months. She thinks that's a long time. And she is making a lot of big mistakes out here. And Donnie boy and she, she's going to go run into Donnie boy as soon as he gets out with open arms. And she's going to be back all about Donnie boy. Ready for her. Ready. She'll be there ready for him to go to work and support her and her habits. 
like he did before he went to jail. I'm sure she misses that. She misses him keeping her in R&R &R and, and whatever else she wants. She misses all that now. But, and she will, no matter who she's in love with, no matter who she's hanging out with, when Don gets out of jail, she's going to be all about Don. And she will turn on you, whoever, whatever guys she's hanging out with. She'll turn on every one of them when Don gets out. I hope that one of the guys that's been trying to get evidence does get enough evidence to have her arrested for at minimum guilty knowledge. But I feel like, in my own opinion, I feel like there's more to it than guilty knowledge. I feel like she's lied to everybody involved so far in this case. I feel like she has lied and lied and lied. And she has lied on people. She has already, I mean, she was in love with, I won't say any names, but one YouTuber was in love with him. And then as soon as she got mad at him, she started telling lies on him. I know that. I mean, and she's going to do the same thing when Don gets out. She's going to tell lies on every one of these guys that are her friends right now. She's going to turn on all of them. And she's going to be all about Don again. Those two are bound together. They're woven, woven together with lies. They're bound together by lies and secrets. And it goes deep. Those secrets go deep. And those secrets are um, criminal secrets that could put, one could put the other away for a long time. And they each know too much on each other to tell on each other. I don't believe that one, either one of them is gonna tell on the other no matter what, because then they know that the other is gonna tell what they know on them. So it's gonna take somebody else coming forward. It's gonna take somebody else stepping up and speaking up for Summer Wells. Somebody needs to come forward for Summer. And I don't know what it's going to take to get them to come forward. I hope that their heart gets convicted enough to where they eventually will. I hope that their heart is so heavy because they know what the right thing to do is. They know the right thing to do is to come forward and help that baby girl. And if need to be, then she needs to be recovered and she needs to be laid to rest with dignity and respect. She needs to be shown respect and love for once in that child's life. If it wasn't for the church, I don't think she would have ever known what love was. That poor child. I have love for her. And that's why I'm sitting here doing what I'm doing right now. It's because I love little Summer Moon. And I'm not giving up on her. My videos might get fewer. You know, I might do fewer videos. I might not be doing them every single day. 
but right now there's really not a whole lot to report on. So you might as well, the way I see it is I might as well take little breaks when there's nothing going on and then when something big happens or something bigger happens. But I'm all, I say that, but I'm always here. I'm always here talking about summer. Whether people watch it or not, or listen to it or not, I'm doing it for summer, and I'm doing it with good intentions. I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart, and I plan to keep doing it for as long as it's necessary. I want to see justice for summer. I want to see justice for the boys because they have suffered too in all of this. And I want to see both Don and Candace be held accountable and for whatever parts they played in this story and whatever parts, if any, that Grandis might have had or played in this story, I want to see her be held accountable too. And I look forward to the day that somebody is held accountable. And I'm not really looking at anybody off of that hill as being responsible. I see, I've seen enough coming from the people up on that hill that tells me that they're guilty. And I'm not saying that they are guilty. I'm saying they look guilty. They act guilty. If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck. You know, you've all heard that. That's what we're all doing, is going by what they show us. They don't give us anything positive to bring to y'all. I would love to be able to come on here and bring to you good, clean, positive information what's going on in Summer Wells case. But I can't do that because of the parents. Mainly because of right now because of Candace. She does not want this baby to be found and I believe that if she does allow a search on that property, I do believe that she will call the shots and she will tell them where they can and cannot search. And she's not going to allow them to search in certain areas where they might find anything. And if she does just turn them loose to search the whole property, then I don't believe there's anything there to find. But I don't think Summer's very far from her home. And I don't know if that could be that maybe a RSO in the neighborhood has her. Maybe Candace and Don sold her to an RSO slash dealer. We don't know. I hate to think that. I would rather think of her being an angel right now. I saw a butterfly a little while ago and I thought about her. And it seems like every time I do my summer videos from inside the sunroom, I always see those cardinals. And those cardinals don't just show up, but it's it just seems like they always show up during my summer videos. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Anyways, that's all I really have for you today. Hopefully one day I'm going to come on here and I'm going to be able to tell you that there's good news. And I'll be able to bring to you some good positive news. But right now, pertaining to Summer's case, the water just keeps getting muddier and muddier. But it's just a matter of time. Keep your patience. It's very important to be patient right now.
We all need to be patient as best we can. And just wait for it. Because it's really, it's out of our hands. We can raise awareness all day long. But there's nothing else that we can do. Because it's up to law enforcement. And we have to leave the investigations up to law enforcement. That's what they're trained to do. And that's what they're paid to do. And so, I hope that they've got something big going on behind the scenes. We all hope that. We all hope to see a big break in the case really soon. I, I hope to see it. I don't know that that's going to happen. I haven't been told that that's going to happen. I'm just hoping. Just like everybody else. I hope. I do feel like there's going to be closure in Summer's case and Rose Bly's case. a road way down there on the other side of the woods but it's way down there so it's such a wonderful beautiful day I hope it is where you are too and I hope that you're able to get outside and enjoy it and have a wonderful day of peace you deserve it Team Summer needs, Team Summer deserves some R&R, &R. we all deserve a nice little break, a nice vacation, my goodness, where is Summer, so we can all celebrate her being found. being quiet and letting y'all listen to nature. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. I was hoping another hummingbird would come before I close this video. I wanted you to see at least one more.
Well, I guess that's it. I was hoping the girl would come back. I saw the boy come back a minute ago. I was hoping the girl would come back before I shut the camera off. But it don't look like she is. Anyways, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the nature with me today. I hope you enjoyed the hummingbirds. And I hope you enjoyed the content. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.